Now let's start with working with files. There are many functions in PHP that can help us work with files. In this section, we are going through the most common functions. Well, first, let's start with the process of working with files. It doesn't matter if we want to just read the file or we want to write something to it. First, we need to open the file. Then we need to do whatever we want to do. We want to read the file or we want to write to it. And then we need to close the file. First, we need to open the file. In order to open the file, we can use the function f open. The first argument is the path and the file name. So it can be something like example txt. And the second argument is a flag to tell PHP how to open the file. The most common flags are R for reading, W for writing, and A for appending. If I open the file for reading, I cannot write to it. If I open it for writing, all the previous data will be removed and the new data will be written to the file. And if I open it for appending, the previous data will stay the same and the new data will be added at the end of the file. So if I want to open a file with fopen function, the full function would be something like uh, example.txt and then the flag like r or a or w and that's it. This function will return a resource so I could work with it later. So let's store it in a variable called file. Now let's read the file. If we want to read the file, a good way is to read it line by line. The function to read just one line is fgets. This function gets a resource as the argument. Do you remember we stored the resource returned by fopen in a variable? We can pass it to our function here. File. Every time we run this function, PHP will return the line and goes to the next line. PHP will take care of knowing which lines we are at for us. So the first time we run the function, we get the first line. The second time, we'll get the second line. So we can read the first line and second line like this. This would be the first line. And then the second time, we run the same function, but it would return the second line. And if there are no lines anymore to read, it will return false. But imagine there are hundreds of lines in my file. I cannot do it like this, one line at a time. I need to use a loop. Let's use a while loop. Do you remember the structure of a while loop? While the condition, we will do something here, do something. And then we will do something that affects the condition. Affects the condition. So at some point it wouldn't be true. So what do you think we should write here? Well, let's get started. So first let's get the line. Line bf gets file. Let's <clears throat> comment these two out and now this line will return uh, the first line or it's false because there is no line in the file. Here my condition would be as long as there are new lines, do something and then get the new line. So here I will check if this is not false, this is not false, do something and then read it again. So at some point we will reach end of the file. This will be false. So here would be false and we will go out of the loop. That's it. With this loop, with like one, two, three, four line of loop, we can read any file. No problem.
Now let's talk about writing to the file. The first thing we need to make sure of is the flag when we open the file. So here, instead of R, I should use A or W. Now I can write to my file. In order to write to the file, I need to use the function f write. Here it gets the resource as the first argument, file, and as the second argument, it gets the string that I want to write to the file. For example, hello world. Now you can write all your content at once, like here I could have a huge paragraph, or you can call fwrite multiple times, like hello world, hello YouTube, and so on. It doesn't matter if you call fwrite once or many times, it doesn't create new lines in the file. So if I do this at the end, my file would look something like this. If you want a new line, you should specifically add it. There are two ways. The first one is to add the new line character yourself, which is this. You can add it to the end of your string, but be careful. Right now I have single quotes. If I use single quotes, PHP will simply write this to my file. I want it to interpret it and recognize this is a new line character. So I should use double quotes. And as you can see, when my ID changed the color, the other way is to use PHP end of line constant. We have already worked with it. It's PHP EOL that represent new line character. So I can simply add it to my string like this, and it will create two lines. First one, hello world, new line, hello YouTube, again new line. So the next string that I add with fwrite would be in the new line. Now, finally, we need to close the file. We can do it by f close. It gets a resource. Again, we get we pass the file. It's a very simple and easy step, but it's very important. Do not forget to close your file. Now let's put everything together. At the moment, I do not have any file in my current folder. So I want to create one and write something to it. So write to the file. Okay, let's, let me comment everything out here. Okay, let's first open the file. The path is here and the name would be example.txt and I want to write to it. Great. Now let's f write to my file hello world and I want to add a new line great perfect now let's close this f close my file let me run the file to see if it works index.php it has done everything let me see if it has created a file perfect it has created example.txt as we have specified here and it has written hello world as you can see it has created a new line so if i add something to it it will be in the new line perfect now let's append data to it i forgot to write hello youtube so let's append to the file append data to the file it would be exactly the same instead i will have a now instead of hello world i would have hello youtube let's comment this out and run the file again now if i go to example hello youtube and it has created a new line again perfect now in the last step i want to read the file and echo add the strings so let's do it the very first thing is to open it with the flag r and i will add f close so i wouldn't forget at the end now let's read the line line would be f git s the file perfect now let me write the loop as long as this line is not equal to false i want to echo the line and i want to read the line again 
line equals to if get s file perfect let's see if it works let me comment this one out let's run php.index and hello world and hello youtube perfect that's it that's the end of this section let's go to the next one